Welcome to our channel. Today, we're going to explore a critical topic that impacts public health worldwide, the rubella vaccine. Join us as we uncover the importance of this vaccine and how it's protecting our communities. What is rubella? Rubella, also known as German measles, is a viral infection caused by the rubella virus. It is highly contagious and spreads through respiratory droplets. While it may initially present mild symptoms such as a rash, mild fever, and swollen lymph nodes, the real concern lies in its potential impact on pregnant women. If a pregnant woman contracts rubella, it can lead to congenital rubella syndrome in her baby, causing severe birth defects and developmental issues. Vaccination against rubella is crucial to prevent the spread of the virus and protect against its potential complications. What is rubella MMR, vaccine? The rubella vaccine is a preventive vaccine designed to protect against the rubella virus. It is typically administered as part of the MMR, measles, mumps, and rubella, vaccine, which provides immunity against three different viruses. The rubella vaccine contains weakened rubella virus particles that stimulate the body's immune system to produce antibodies. These antibodies help the immune system recognize and fight the rubella virus if a person is exposed to it in the future. The vaccine is typically given in two doses, usually around the ages of 12-15 months and 4-6 years. It is considered safe and highly effective in preventing rubella infections. How Rubella Vaccine is Manufactured The manufacturing process of the rubella vaccine involves several steps to ensure its safety and effectiveness. Here is a general overview of how the rubella vaccine is produced. Certified Strain the first step involves obtaining an attenuated virus strain which is certified by the National Control Authority. Virus strain should be well characterized including all the necessary information, source, attenuation method, passage level etc. The virus strain used in the vaccine production should be certified to be safe to be used for human purpose. To make the vaccine safe for use, the rubella virus is attenuated, which means it is weakened or modified. Attenuation is done through a series of passages in cell cultures or through genetic engineering techniques. The goal is to create a weakened form of the virus that can still stimulate an immune response but does not cause the disease. Vaccine Production Large-scale production of the vaccine involves growing the attenuated virus in large bioreactors or cell culture systems. The virus is replicated in large quantities, and the culture is harvested. Purification the harvested culture is purified to remove impurities and unwanted substances, leaving behind primarily the rubella virus components. Vaccine formulation and packaging. The attenuated rubella virus is combined with the other components of the MMR vaccine, such as mumps and measles viruses, in specific proportions. These components are formulated with stabilizers, preservatives, and other additives to ensure vaccine stability and efficacy. The final formulation is filled into vials or syringes in a sterile environment. Quality control. Throughout the manufacturing process, rigorous quality control measures are implemented. This includes testing the vaccine for potency, purity, and safety. The final product undergoes extensive quality assurance procedures to ensure it meets regulatory standards. Distribution. After passing the quality control tests and regulatory approvals, the live attenuated MMR vaccines are packaged, labeled, and distributed to healthcare providers and vaccination programs for administration to the target population. It's important to note that the specific manufacturing process may vary between different manufacturers and vaccine types. However, all rubella vaccines undergo strict regulatory oversight to ensure their safety, efficacy, and consistency. How Rubella MMR, Vaccine Work the rubella vaccine works by stimulating the body's immune system to recognize and defend against the rubella virus. The vaccine contains weakened rubella virus particles or a part of the virus that cannot cause the disease but can still trigger an immune response. When a person receives the rubella vaccine, the immune system identifies the weakened virus particles as foreign invaders. In response, the body's immune cells, particularly B cells and T cells, produce specific antibodies designed to target the rubella virus. If the person is exposed to the actual rubella virus in the future, their immune system recognizes it quickly and mounts a robust defense by producing the specific antibodies that can neutralize and destroy the virus before it causes an infection. The presence of these pre-formed antibodies allows the body to effectively fight off the virus and prevent it from spreading throughout the body, reducing the severity and duration of the infection. Vaccination against rubella not only protects the vaccinated person from the disease but also contributes to herd immunity. 
When a large portion of the population is vaccinated, the virus finds it challenging to spread, which help in protection of unvaccinated people, people with weakened immune systems or allergies to vaccine. Who require rubella, MMR, vaccination? Rubella vaccination is recommended for the following groups. Children. The rubella vaccine is typically administered as part of the MMR, measles, mumps, and rubella, vaccine to children. The first dose is usually given around the age of 12-15 months, and the second dose is administered around 4-6 years of age. Adolescents and adults. If individuals have not been vaccinated during childhood or have not received two doses of the MMR vaccine, they should consider getting vaccinated, especially if they are in a high-risk environment or planning to travel to areas with rubella outbreaks. Pregnant women. Non-immune pregnant women should not receive the rubella vaccine during pregnancy, as it contains live attenuated virus particles and may pose a risk to the unborn baby. However, women planning to become pregnant should ensure they are vaccinated and protected against rubella to prevent congenital rubella syndrome. Healthcare workers. Healthcare personnel should be vaccinated to protect themselves and their patients from rubella, as they may come into contact with vulnerable individuals, including pregnant women and immunocompromised patients. International travelers. Individuals traveling to countries with ongoing rubella outbreaks or areas with low vaccination rates should ensure they are vaccinated before their trip to reduce the risk of infection. Individuals in outbreak areas. During rubella outbreaks, health authorities may recommend catch-up vaccination campaigns to ensure as many people as possible receive protection against the virus. It's essential to consult with a healthcare professional to determine individual vaccination needs and ensure that the rubella vaccine is safe and appropriate for each person's specific circumstances. What are the AEFI associated with rubella MMR, vaccination? AEFI stands for adverse events following immunization, and like all vaccines, the rubella vaccine may cause some side effects in a small percentage of individuals. However, it's important to note that the vast majority of people who receive the rubella vaccine experience only mild and temporary reactions. Severe adverse events are rare. Here are some of the common AEFI associated with rubella vaccination. Mild local reactions. These can include pain, redness, or swelling at the injection site. These reactions are usually short-lived and resolve on their own. Mild systemic reactions. Some individuals may experience mild fever, headache, fatigue, or a mild rash following vaccination. These reactions are generally self-limiting and go away without any specific treatment. Allergic reactions. Rarely, individuals may experience allergic reactions to components of the vaccine. Symptoms can include hives, swelling of the face or throat, difficulty breathing, or rapid heartbeat. Severe allergic reactions are extremely rare but require immediate medical attention. Joint pain. Some recipients may experience temporary joint pain, typically affecting women more than men. It's essential to understand that the benefits of rubella vaccination far outweigh the risk of adverse reactions. Rubella is a potentially serious disease, especially for pregnant women, and the vaccine's widespread use has significantly reduced the number of cases and complications associated with the virus. If you or your child experience any concerning or persistent symptoms after receiving the rubella vaccine, it's crucial to contact your healthcare provider. Health authorities and medical professionals closely monitor the safety of vaccines, including the rubella vaccine, to ensure they remain safe and effective for the general population. Conclusion. Vaccination remains one of the most successful public health interventions, and the rubella vaccine exemplifies how immunization can significantly reduce the burden of a potentially dangerous disease. Continued efforts to promote vaccination and ensure accessibility to all populations will continue to be crucial in eradicating rubella and protecting the health of future generations. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Stay safe, and until next time, take care.